Yo, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Premps, and we are in for a treat today. Because in this video, we're going to be taking a look at who will be announced as the new Empress of the Sea in One Piece chapter 1053 or thereafter, and what their bounties will be. And so here is your spoiler alert. If you have not read One Piece chapter 1052, I will suggest that you pause this video, go take a read of that right now, then read it again for good measure and then come back to this video, drop a comment on your own predictions and see if it matches up with what I am about to predict right here, right now. But anyways, enough of that good stuff. There's no point babbling on anymore. Let's just get straight into this video. And to start off with, I just wanted to take a look at this state of play in Wano. You see, before Wano we had Whole Cake Island and the Empress we believed to be running things at the time were the old school heads, you know, Big Mum and Kaido, the slightly newer school head, like Shanks, and then the newest school and the first of the worst generation to break the barriers in Blackbeard. And you see, things were business as usual until the arrival of Luffy in Whole Cake Island. The part he had to play there was so significant. And then ultimately, the spin on the news that our good friend, Big News Morgan, had printed and shared with the world that Luffy had effectively wreaked havoc on Whole Cake Island, ultimately declaring him as the fifth emperor. And while some, maybe including myself, believe that this might have been a bit premature at the time and not entirely convinced that Luffy had the strength to tangle with Dionko, I think most of our reservations have been put to rest now with all that we've seen in Wano today. So as of One Piece chapter 1052, we are now led to believe that both Kaido and Big Mom have fallen. And even though I personally do not believe this to be the end for them, as I think they have so many more layers and unfinished business, I can only judge things as they are right now. So effectively, there are two of the original pre Whole Cake Island Yonko remaining in Shanks and Blackbeard. And if we are led to believe that there should be five emperors now, that leaves three spots remaining. Now we know that the fifth spot was originally given to Luffy. So first and foremost, I think it's clear that we start off with the captain of the Straw Hats and what I believe his bounty to be post Wano. You see, his current bounty stands at 1.5 billion. But after everything that's happened in Wano, I think he's going to completely eclipse this bounty. You see, not only has Luffy defeated an emperor in Kaido, but he has awakened his devil fruit the fruit that has escaped the Gorosei and the world government for so many years. Luffy has awakened Joy Boy. He has a mythical zone devil fruit, the sun god Nika, known as the most ridiculous power in the world. But there may be even more to this. What exactly is it about this fruit that the Gorosei were scared of? Could this be revealed further down the line? Does this fruit give Luffy the power to correct something that was done in the past? Maybe it just might. I don't think Luffy has even touched the surface of Gear 5 yet and if there is something post this like a Gear 6 or Mastery of Gear 5, we're definitely going to see how significant this fruit is. But back to his bounty, because this is what you came here for. You came for my thoughts on Luffy's bounty. And personally, I think it's going to be somewhere between 3.5 billion to 4 billion berries. You see, in my last prediction, I thought that Luffy would be in the 3 billion to 3.5 billion range as his bounty is going to be a direct reflection on how far he's come and how close he is going to be to some of the more notorious pirates of the past, with the highest bounties we've seen to date being Whitebeard and Goldie Roger. And of course, I still think that this will be the case. I mean, with us going into the final saga shortly, just how close is Luffy to becoming Pirate King? and how many times will his bounty actually increase between now and the end of the series. I don't see there being a villain to defeat in Elbaf, therefore it's unlikely his bounty increases again once the crew goes there and therefore we really have to think about how close should Luffy's bounty be to Roger's 5 billion plus. And honestly, if you had asked me a few months ago, I would have definitely said that we have a way to go in order for Luffy to get his bounty near 4 billion. But at this point in the story, what more can he really do? If Whitebeard wasn't even proactively going after the One Piece and only wanting a family, 
yet had a bounty of 5 billion plus due to strength alone? I wouldn't be shocked if some predicted that Luffy would have a bounty of 4.5 billion to 5 billion post Wano. But I'm going to be really cautious here. You see, Luffy is going to be able to do what Roger did and more. You see, he's going to reach Raftel. He's going to become Pirate King. He's going to find out the secrets of the world, potentially have access to all three ancient weapons, and ultimately, he's going to be able to make a decision on what he thinks is the right thing to do after learning these secrets. Luffy at the end game is going to be more broken than he already is. And I mean, at the very least, there will be at least one more bounty increase after Wano. And potentially, there could be two. So I do think we have to give some room for Luffy's bounty to increase again, unless we believe that he's going to end up with a bounty almost close to 10 billion at the end of the series, which I'm not so sure that he will, but that's just down to each and every individual. But for me, I think I'll stick to my prediction of 3.5 billion at the very minimum and 4 billion on the upper end. But that's enough of Luffy, because another two spots have opened up in the Emperor division and I think it's pretty obvious where I'm going with this. And I think we'll find out in the newest edition of the newspaper that not only have they had a significant bounty increase, but they have now been dubbed the new Emperors of the Sea. And if you haven't guessed it, I'm talking about Law and Kit. And if we go back to Whole Cake, I just couldn't imagine that this would be the future of the One Piece verse. I mean, just look at Kid and Law's crew. And honestly, they aren't the straw hats. Law is honestly the only useful member of his crew. And Kid, whilst having Killer, actually hasn't shown us anything significantly impressive. It's more of a bullish mentality he has, and us being told that he has conquerors hacky, etc. But I guess ultimately, you just want to know what their bounties are going to be. And the reason I have them coupled up in this video is because I think they will get similar bounties. You see, as it stands, Kid's bounty is 470 million berries, with Law's slightly higher being about 500 million berries. And although Law's is slightly higher, I think this difference probably remains going forward. My prediction is for both of these characters to be around a 2.5 billion berry figure after quote unquote defeating Big Mum. But I don't think that they're going to have a ridiculous boost, just given that it was a joint effort. Now of course their bounties could be as low as 2 billion, just given the fact that Luffy was considered a Yonko having a bounty of only 1.5 billion and therefore 2 billion is still significantly impressive. However, I do think both Kid and Law have a lot more improving to do, particularly in building up the rest of their crew in order to be taken seriously as a Yonko crew, kind of like the previous Yonko in Kaido and Big Mom. I mean just think about it. How difficult was it to even get to Big Mom in Whole Cake? We literally had to go through the likes of Cracker and Katakuri. And if it's Kaido, we have the likes of the Toby Ropo right up to King, Queen and Jack. And the same would apply to Shanks, Blackbeard and even Luffy. I mean, can you imagine Sanji and Zoro just letting anyone stroll up and get to their captain? I think Kid and Law have a little way to go. But to be crowned new empress with a bounty of 2 to 2.5 billion berries, that certainly is going to be a massive feat for them. But I think that just about does it for me. Do you think I've got the new empress of the sea correct? And do you agree with my bounty predictions? Let me know down in the comments. And whilst you're there, make sure you let me know what your predictions are too. And as always, Shout out to anyone who's made it this far in this video and if you liked anything I've had to say then make sure you leave a like on the video and also make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you never miss out when I drop more content just like this. Say.